Daniel, as a people, we've been very innovative. Over time, we constantly improve our standard of living, but there's been unintended consequences, which you're hearing about today. Climate change, we overuse resources, and then we have situations that have been highlighted by people like Ellen MacArthur and her fabulous foundation, where these consequences cause really big impacts, and that statement is changing how we do things. But what if we could use some of the innovation that we have and solve some of these problems? What if we could make disposable coffee cups that really are recyclable, really are biodegradable, and really are made from renewable products? What if we could make more plastics that are biodegradable? What if we could get rid of petroleum from our supply chain, as so many companies are trying to do? And more importantly, what if we could do this economically? We want to do it matching price and performance. No one will pay a premium for green and clean. You have to deliver on price and performance. So we can, using our process that we've patented, the glycel process, we take waste plant matter from agricultural processes. We take glycerol, which is a low value waste product from biodiesel production. And we use a process to break them down into their component parts. So we produce industrial sugars. Not sugars like you put on Wheaties, but sugars nonetheless. And these sugars can be fermented or converted to virtually every petroleum-based chemical that we know today and we use in everyday life. We also get from the plant lignin, the tough stuff on the outside of the plant. And we can make a waterproofing compound for paper that is totally biodegradable, recyclable, renewable. But the real success of our process is we extract lots of value from this low value waste plant material. But the glycerol we buy cheap from the biodiesel industry, it delivers a result in our process 25% more sugars than any other process. But when we recover it, and we do recover 95%, we are refining it as well. So there's a whole nother value proposition in the profit from the glycerol. And that goes into the commodity markets, as you can see listed there, pharmaceuticals and other things. So, and doing all this in a sustainable way, we're not going to cart the biomass to the city. The jobs we create are going to be in rural areas. And that's important, because they're hard to create in rural areas. We're turning waste into value, two waste streams into an incredible amount of value. And we're saving carbon, a considerable amount of carbon. Every time we replace a petroleum-based chemical, we're saving carbon. So where are we at? We've got a site in Malaysia. We're looking to build a biorefinery there. We've done our feasibility, and we're heading towards our bankable feasibility. Malaysia's a great place. There's lots of biomass, there's lots of glycerol, and there's actually a national biomass strategy to turn biomass into chemicals. It's exactly what we do. We have some really strong, really strong, well-known international partners that are supporting us. We create jobs. Our first plant, which is a small plant, will create about 34 jobs. But we can multiply that three to five times in that place and then expand internationally. And for every small plant we do, we're saving over 700,000 tonnes of carbon a year. And you start multiplying that through what we can expand to, that's a considerable amount. So, leaf resources, we're sustainably and profitably turning waste into tomorrow's products. So if anyone wants to know more about our journey and have a chat, you'll find me outside afterwards. <laughs> Thank you very much.